Here it comes. Good catch. Has anybody dropped here? And remember that there's uh, more games coming up in Rolf Indian in Multan. Game here tomorrow and Sunday and Monday. And how much have the locals enjoyed coming out? How much is it great to have cricket back in Rolf Indy? It's been so long to have 2020 cricket. There's been a, a test match recently. Get together. Just well, the cap. The cap. A bat together for a while can be really destructive. So I don't see any change of attack with regards to the way Cameron. Station plays in Somerset in England. Has been out playing for Brisbane in the Big Bash out in Australia. England player as well. Young man making his way. He's 21 years old. That strike rate will get better. Let me assure this man is Cameron Ackmel. 38, Cameron Ackmel, there we go, crowd don't want that, they don't want to see any ones and twos, when he bat, that's a bit of flair, sliced, sliced away, does go fine, yeah he's got pace Shane Shafridi, but the problem is the ball is shaping away from Cameron Ackmel, he needs no second invitation, he doesn't get it in the middle of the back. Round the wicket. Powered. Powered past Shine Shah Freddy. Half volley. Yeah, we spoke about him standing tall. He is a tall young man. Bottom hand comes through. Over pitched from Shine Shah Freddy. He didn't want to end the over like that. Those two young boys are going to come hard at each other. Salman uh, Urshad. Oh, slingy. Little bit slingy and helped on its way by Kraman Ackman. Flick off his hip. No big effort. Just helps it on its way. Oh, that's a nice shot. Cannot hold there. So time it like this. Yeah, we saw the game last night. There is no margin for error, but that's a three without loss. Remember the power play is four overs. It's a no ball. It is a front foot no ball. Get it on. Sliced away. This will go all the way. 20,000 rupees. Thank you, Goludlo. Yeah, just going back on that front foot no ball, I know that the ice is... Well, it's just an accident, isn't it? That's all it is. Just an accident. All pace. Does he get it over? It's going to be a wicket. It has to be a wicket. He is done by pace. Touch from Tom Banton as he ran past. They've done the damage. He bowls it short. It is pace. It's rush coming up, Mel. He hits it high in the bat. He hits it high in the sky. Banton by taking all the catches. Oh, he's got a leading edge, and where's that gone? It's uh, gone away. It's not a case of 20 over cricket that you play yourself in. You're still looking to score every ball, but when you've got 12 overs, every ball is final 10 overs. Even 12 runs an over. And the way they're going, they're motoring at this stage. So I, I, I think you're sort of looking. But... Over this. Oh, Banton's going for it, isn't he? It's up in the air, it's tough to catch her. Will it be held on? No! Sam and Patel had lots of work to do. It was going away. And for them. Oh, that is smoked away for Journey. Thank you for having me here. Uh, it was quite a... Okay, it was quite a tough journey, but I... Fantastic to have you here, we really appreciate it. Now, one last question. My partner, Ben Cutting, Loves to warm up for a cricket game by hitting some... ...with the strike rates at the moment. Oh, yes, please! Oh, no! I thought it went right over the boundary rope! Batting in these conditions, batting with 12 overs, it takes any nerves out of it because the batsmen know they come out and they play their shots, they can play... Here's Maz Khan. Oh, he's uh, whacked that away and... 
and uh... now we're in the 130s. It's too short. It is there to go, and it goes. It is smashed out of the middle, but it's a gift, an absolute gift. Oh, wow. Hader Ali keeps going. His strike rate is well over three. Well, you have a moment for it, Sapal T, do you? You got off. Over game. David Visa. One thing that uh, Liam Livingston does really well when you watch goes over long on to deep mid wicket. It's like a double handed backhand down the line. He's a powerful player. Let me tell you, this man is a powerful player. Ouch! No power in that. Rhodes. Edge, catch. Whether that was a quicker ball. Bowling, the first delivery, Hyderelli continued, throws everything at it, tries to get it up and over, but because there is no pace, doesn't get it past. Success of the first delivery. That's what they need to keep taking wicket. He's gonna pace on, pace off. In the air. Is he gonna get away with it? It's gone high. He's not. He's caught one summit. Swing and he hasn't really given himself much of a chance to see anything get off the mark it's a good effort from Samir Patel coming in quick and 16 from his first over powered gets it past 134 HBL PSL sixes it's a wrong one he picks it well doesn't try and overhit it that's a bit of topspin Lewis Gregory does let me tell you he does that's a from it one ball to go yeah, good use of the feet, not quite to the pitch of it, but again. It's a slash for six. No, no. Rummies, don't you love it? They, batsmen, they've got no time to face balls. Slow ball and hustles him. He is suited to these conditions and the manic nature of the... Three wickets for the right arm speedster. Oh, it made a great sound. It's landed pretty far. <laughs> it's nearly out of here. There's the front row of the stand that watched it go over their head. That's how well he hit it. It was out to get away. He's bowled five dot deliveries. Not this time. Skyward and long. Ah, beautifully. Didn't really color this properly, but a single is yielded. I think from bowling point of view, you've got to be at your best with defensive skills. Got to have them clarity of mind when you're running in to deliver a ball. And as you rightly mentioned, Slats, every ball is and should be considered as an event, as a challenge on this beautiful strip well, there he is Darren Sammy they love him and he finish off two big ones there's two balls remaining in the innings they're 130 so that's going to take some chasing now oh it's gone up in the air who's called for it Bacher is an excellent fielder and he grasses it spills it he made a lot of effort got there and then somehow didn't have the control to to take that catch well the eyes would have been bobbling once again you've got a ball that remains in the air for a long time sprinting you've got to try and control the eyes so they're not bobbling gee it hit the hands hard didn't it he made all the ground he did the hard yards just a little bit too hard with the hands and he puts in a very very sad dive in the end he knows he's dropped one and so Sammy gets another opportunity. Can he finish it in grand style? Then catch it properly. Shine Shafridi has taken a catch. Has he taken a catch? Best of this year's HBL PSL. This was one hell of a catch. Great try running backwards. 
And he caught it. Magnificent catch. Well, it was. We saw but. Well, Zalmi, they smashed eight fours and ten sixes. So 92 runs coming in fours and sixes. Rohat Ali, a left arm fast medium. To get us underway from the pavilion end, it's got a slip in place. Oh, that rushed him. A bit of a misfield. And I'll pick up the first run. Yeah, good delivery. His side. It's bounce as well. It's off the glove. Short, fine leg. Doesn't make an effort to dive for it. He decides to try and stop it first. Powered that away, Haslin. And it's over the boundary for six. All the way into the crowd. Clears that front foot. And man, he whacks it. Yeah, he's got to spend lots of time there at the crease with this kind of uh, total crystalline. He scores really quickly. He's crunched that over the ring for four. Two powerful strikes from Lynn, 13 off the over, one ball to go. Yeah, the simplicity of Chris Lynn here, he gets that front leg out the way again, slightly wide, gives himself room, and again an extension of the arms. So whether it's on the leg side pulling it for six, or crashing it over the covers, very similar execution of the shots, not far from a... Over the ring, and four runs. The beginning and he's done it toe end but still it travels yeah swinging hard chris lynn identifying the fact that hassan ali does ball good areas he can't just stand there in the crease chris lynn got him that is smashed away cast it off the ball no means in the slot again chris lynn gets that front leg out of the way strong hand powerful through that extra cover great effort from him. In the slot, more importantly, he finds the gap. Now he's over the ring, and this is even better from Lynn dealing it at such a pace at this stage. Again, gets that front leg out of the way. He's got wit. As now he changes the pace as he runs his fingers over the ball. Chris Lynn. He's got the ability. Many deliveries. He's been a reason to dance today. For many hours, it looked like we'd have absolutely no play with all you need. Good stop. Quickly around the boundary, and here we have our soccer battery power run. In this sort of cold weather, he's done amazingly well. Amazingly well. Tight finish, though. Tight finish at the line. Yeah, a good slide in at the end. Gives himself room, and that's over third man for six. On the offside boundary, he gets a thick outside edge. He is swinging hard. One hand comes off the bat, and it flies away. We've seen many edges of flying over the boundary for six here. As Michael Slater says, if you're going to swing, swing hard. 95 more of the 55 required. An excellent stand. Uh, Chris Lane at the non-strikers at the moment. That's a drop. That is a drop. He was blinded. It was an inside edge. It kept a little bit low. No, oh, he should have got there. He goes with a hand. It doesn't get it any glove on it might have flicked something on the way through only a little bit though he's gone below the ball he needed that he really did for shower bit of luck it's what you need for the zalmi got in second ball may have not got in first ball and overstepped get back there wahab get back there it's planted now. Do we see anything behind the line? Now, I'm sitting next to a bowler. He's hit now. I don't see anything behind the line. Don't look at that one. 
Now it's when the actual foot hits the floor, Michael Slater. So look at his front of his foot. So his front of his foot hits obviously before the back. They've got it. Well, they've got some face painting going on. And it's a Brighto fan of the match. Don't you love the enthusiasm, the love of the game, and the love of hitting? Straight to the man! There it is, there's the big change in the game. Chris Lynn, the danger man. First ball by Lewis Gregory as well, and a good catch by Hassan Ali. Chris Lynn into the pitch, maybe a little pace off. Welcome to PSL, Lewis Gregory. Wicket and Chris Lynn picked out the man at long off. Well, baseball, he came down, he does flat bat it, but he just nailed it straight to the man. It took some catching because of the pace. And he's steaming, isn't he, as he walks off? <laughs> Look at the ball from him. Straight to the man again. They're picking the fielders out. And that is the problem, Bantam. A lack of pace. Off cutter. Out of the park. You're new to the surface. You're getting used to it. A good catch by Banton, he's a good field. Got to be a partner bowler with because the previous over was an absolute beauty. So we saw Chris Lynn pick out the fields and there's another one. Just needed to get a little straighter, a little squarer. But there was good use of the slow ball. So you can just see if he can just take the pace off it. Once again, the bats. Good sound off the bat. But. It's straight into the hands of the fielder. Parker Zaman hasn't had a good evening. He's, uh, that's the end. I missed the uh, meaty part, meaty part of the blade. And went high in the air and a very good catch in the deep. Well, the slogging has got to have a method. And the execution bit was lacking in this innings from Parker. was given a life when he was castled off a no ball. Came back in and fast bowler here. That is high up in the air. There is a fielder underneath it. Never easy, these ones. And he's got it. What an excellent catch. Ball almost went to the moon. It was sky high and it was Heather early who took it brilliantly. Have a look at him steadying himself underneath that one and beautifully held reverse. Peshawar Zali, my favorite team, I want to support him. I don't have any special interest in my cricket, but I want to support him. That's why. Let's go, very good thing. You have to do a lot of good things. You have to do a lot of good things. The captain goes straight down the ground. Oh, gone. What a tame dismissal. Settled. Lord Kalandas with great variations. So severe down the ground, and that's the big cue. Finds the gap nicely. There's an excellent finisher, is David Visser, but could have come in a little bit too late. There's 19 balls left for 50 runs required. TS outlets across Pakistan online at yavo.com. Oh, that's uh, inventive. Not sure he gets all of it. But enough. Given up by uh, Raha Ali and a little bit of a... Yeah, Wahab, he's got pace. Well, that's a problem on this kind of field. Use the pace, David Visa. He's a tall guy. Not the easiest shot to play the scoop for a tall fella. Flicks it straight over Kamran Akbo. Doesn't get all of it. But Raha Ali doesn't get any of it. Ouch. This one pace on. Tom Banton with a diving. Legit delivery. Visa, no timing whatsoever. Tom Banton moves well to his left. Salman Urshad. Sami Patel gets it past. Darren Sami. Well. For the team. Well, he gets another boundary here. Sami Patel. He won't give up. There's one. Is it enough? Not enough. Right. That's a good shot. That is an excellent shot. Last ball of the game. 
It'll just go straight out to mid on. And what a victory. What a victory for Peshawar Zalmi.